Hi, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Monica. We're going to give you a quick overview of Bloom's taxonomy with a specific focus on how it translates to a music classroom. We were interested to see how often students are engaged in higher order thinking skills versus lower order thinking skills within each class period in a music setting. We took the revised model of Bloom's taxonomy and set out to find examples of real-life situations where music education can apply to this model. There are six domains that can be thought of as degrees of difficulties. That is, the first ones must normally be mastered before the next one can take place. Here's what we found. In the first category of lower order thinking skills, remembering is utilized in the music setting when students are able to recall or retrieve musical elements or concepts that they learned previously. A few examples of remembering in a music classroom include putting an instrument together, locating musical symbols, remembering the fingerings on their instrument, or recalling how many sharps are on an A major scale. Once students have mastered this knowledge, they are able to move on to understanding. Understanding is the ability to comprehend the meaning, translation, or interpretation of something. In the music setting, students can master understanding by identifying, describing, explaining, classifying, or giving examples of musical concepts. For example, when a student is asked to compare and contrast two composers, they are showing that they are understanding and able to articulate stylistic differences of the two composers. A step up from understanding is applying. We found that this is where a music student applies what they learned in the music classroom to a real life situation. This can include using the music skills they learned previously to sing or play an instrument, practice their instrument at home, participate with an ensemble, and more. The next domain we researched was analyzing. Music students can show that they have mastered analyzing through examining music. For example, analyzing the form of a piece, participating in guided listening, and distinguishing between same versus different. Following analyzing is evaluating. This is where one makes judgments about the value of ideas or materials. In a music classroom, students can evaluate through critiquing the ensemble or class's performance such as post-concert reflections, participating in self-evaluations, or reading other performances like listening to a recording or observing other ensembles. Finally, we've reached creating, which is where the highest order thinking skills belong. We found that music is one of the best outlets that students can engage in higher order thinking skills like creating. Students are able to think and work creatively in a music setting through composing, improvising, transcribing, and more. We took these examples and created a structured survey to ask music teachers in diverse settings how often students in their classroom are engaging in each domain. We collected the data and compared how much time is spent within each category. To gain an understanding of how often students are engaged in each cognitive category, we form three questions that belong to a specific domain. For remembering, our questions centered around identifying and defining musical vocabulary and memorizing. 53.1% of the teachers claimed that their students are challenged to remember musical elements, concepts, and vocabulary. For understanding, our questions centered around describing, comparing, and contrasting, and discussing musical concepts. 39.4% of the teachers surveyed claimed that their students often engage in understanding musical concepts in a regular class period. For applying, our questions centered around students applying their musical knowledge to dictate, sight read, and perform. 48.5% of the teachers surveyed claimed that their students engaged in applying their knowledge to performance. For analyzing, our questions centered around the students distinguishing musical elements, analyzing music, and participating in guided listening. 33.3% of the teachers said that their students participate in analyzing occasionally. For evaluating, our questions centered around critiquing other performers, their ensemble, and themselves. 33.3% of teachers said that their students engaged in evaluating occasionally. For creating, our questions centered around the students improvising, playing, singing, and composing. 34.4% of the teachers said that their students participate in creating in the classroom. This project was very informative of the extent of engagement within each cognitive category in the music classroom. 
it concluded that evaluating and analyzing are the least incorporated in the classrooms of the teachers that participated in the survey. It was also obvious that music is an amazing outlet for students to engage in creativity. As pre-service music teachers, we have the opportunity to recall this data in our future of teaching. It allows us to be intentional when lesson planning about how often and how much time is spent in each category of Bloom's taxonomy. We can make sure that we are offering the appropriate amount of higher and lower order thinking skills to best serve our students. Thanks for watching.